Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Santero. Hope everybody's well. Alright, Cancer, it's your turn for your October read. Hoping to get these knocked out by tomorrow morning, early tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon, um, the former domestic partner is coming to either remove the rest of his belongings from the house and what he does not have room for at his current residence. He is going to stuff in the back closet for me and we're going to be moving some furniture and I'm really, really hoping to, by this weekend, to have the space set up so I don't have to have, you know, any available space in the house as my office anymore. That would be super awesome. I know, right? Digging it, digging it. See if we can run that. All right. And who? And who? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right. This reading before Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, October 2021. If I resonate with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign placements. If you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better, just keep in mind time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. Energy of friends, the cross watchers are always welcome here at the Firestone Terror Table. Everybody's always welcome at my table. And I appreciate y'all stopping by to say hello to little old me. I really do. It's for the bottom of my heart, really, I do appreciate it. So, if you're new here, welcome. You can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you think that we might vibe and we might get along. That would be awesome. That way you know when I upload. If you're returning, welcome back. I missed you. Thanks for coming by. Let's sit down, have a little coffee, and throw down some cards for cancer. Any and all can hit the like button if you so choose. That would be awesome. It helps the channel. It helps the videos circulate and the message get out to the people who might need it. And if you have a friend, family member, worst enemy neighbor down the street that you think may benefit from this reading, you can hit the share button. Okay. What else? Okay. Just hop right to it. Two things we got to go over first. One, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care if they're my cards or anybody else's. And two, if it is not your reading, not your story, not your message, leave the cards on the table and walk away. It wasn't meant for you. Okay. Heavenly Father, Mother, Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for October 2021. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you and I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that you have given me and I ask you to help me clearly and accurately use it to bring Cancer to the highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Cancer, why are you here? The star could be an Aquarius you're dealing with. You are healing! Cool! Mm. Probably what you need to be doing right now. All right. What happened? What you healing from? Other than a potential tower moment. Usually that's when the star comes in after the shit has hit the fan. In the past, you were ignoring the feelings. Either you were coming out of a state of heartbreak or you were ignoring the feelings that came along with it. What's going on now? Page of Wands. Reversed. You ain't talking to somebody. Okay. Could be a fire sign you're dealing with. You could have fire in your chart. You could just also have air. Immediate future, nine of cups. This comes from healing, by the way. You're getting there. You're getting there. This is emotional fulfillment, which can only come from within and from a healing process. And you're probably getting there. Because you're not talking to somebody right now. Sometimes that's what it takes to get through a healing process. Outcome, Nine of Pentacles reversed. Now, before I go any further, with that, let's get the energy, the person or situation that you're dealing with, Cancer. Universe, Source, Spirit, Guides. Can I get the energy of the person or situation that Cancer is dealing with? For October 2021. The energy of the person or situation that Cancer is dealing with for October 
the star. They were still healing from something. You know, it's kind of hard to start something new if you're processing something old. They came out together, they shall be red together. Five of Pentacles reversed, Emperor reversed. Very interesting, could be an Aries, could be an Earth sign, possibly Taurus. Hmm. Okay. Immediate future. Now you want reversed. No longer taking action, no longer moving toward it. Death. Change, allowing an end to come and a new beginning to start. Four of Wands decided to show its face. This could be a twin flame connection. God, I hate saying that. <laughs> Definitely strong. More Aries energy, just throwing that out there. Universe source, spirit guides, can I get to clarity for cancer and the person or situation they're dealing with for October 2021, please? I'm going to put it back with the Page of Cups. On the tip of someone's tongue it is. We'll see if it comes back out. Somebody would like to extend an offer. Okay. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Probably not the best idea at this time. Can I get one of this Three of Swords reversed, please? Eight of Cups. You walked away. Why'd you walk away? Things got stagnant. Seven of Wands decided to show up. Page of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. You tried to be fair. Almost apologetic. Why the Seven of Wands? High Priestess reversed. Nah, ego is a little bit wounded. Move these down for a second. 
You walked away because things got stagnant. I think your ego may have gotten the best of you. Sometimes ego can be an inner demon that we have to battle. I think you extended an offer of equality. Didn't move forward. Just didn't move forward. I would never accuse anyone of acting slightly childish, but... There's a little bit of childish energy here. Okay. Okay. Why's the star here? Tell me about the star. Tell me about the star. The lovers. Ten of pentacles. Ten of wands. They were still carrying some baggage from an old connection. An old connection that meant a lot to them. An old connection that was very powerful. Someone they missed a great deal. Five of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. Something that kept them up at night. It made them feel anxious. Five of Swords reversed in Temperance. They were still in the process of coming back into balance after a defeat, guys. They hadn't released everything yet. They were trying, but they hadn't released it. Alright, why is the Page of Pentacles here? For Cancer for the current moment. Why the Page of Pentacles? You ain't talking. Five of Cups. I don't think you're processing emotions either. Six of Swords. Just trying to move on from it. Four of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. But... You still hold a great deal of emotion for this person. Queen of Wands, and it still bothers you that it didn't move forward. You're not getting what you want. You want forward movement with something, you got to open your mouth. Two of Wands. King of Pentacles. Hangman reversed. Being stubborn. You're still hung up on it. But you're being stubborn. Trying to move on. Trying to let go. <clears throat> why the emperor reversed five of pentacles reversed for the other person they miss you they want growth with you they want to offer you a cup Why the Emperor reversed? Just the Emperor reversed. You f they feel unfinished business. They want a new start. 
but they're still very vulnerable and they know it. They're still extremely vulnerable. Why the Two of Swords? One card. Knight of Wands. They could be enjoying a, enjoying a little bit of freedom. Um, Ten of Swords. They're they're all. Give me a second. They're still processing. It's another ten. They're not quite through the pain yet. They want to move forward. They want to, but they're not quite through the pain. But it's okay, because you're being stubborn anyway. Possibly they've tried to communicate with you, but you blocked them. You're not talking. It's okay. Place yourself wherever you see fit. I'm, I try not to be a finger pointer, but I see what I see and I read what I read, guys. Why is the Nine of Cups here for cancer for the immediate future? Why the Nine of Cups? Why the Nine of Cups? Death. Yes. Yes. King of Swords. So, you've allowed things to metamorphosize. You're processing. You're finding your inner peace and happiness. And you are guarding your heart with a very sharp sword. Truth and logic. Truth and logic. The world. You're allowing an old chapter to close and a new chapter to begin in the immediate future. You're allowing something to come to a close so new things can come in for you. That's beautiful. Three of Pentacles. Justice reversed. Oof. You want to build a solid foundation with someone in the future, but things are still slightly out of balance. And you could put, possibly, possibly, he thinks things are still a little bit unfair with this past connection. So, are you really over it? I don't think you are. Is you still guarded? <coughs> Why the Knight of Wands reversed for the other person? Chariot. Stop trying to communicate. Putting distance in there. Eight of swords. Three of swords reversed. Putting themselves in an emotional mental prison. Trying to get over the heartbreak. Queen of swords. Finally, you match. King of swords, queen of swords. On guard. <laughs> Wow. Speaking truth, demanding truth, and nothing but. Get ready to cut something out. Why is the Eight of Pentacles reversed here? Mm. Knight of Swords reversed. Not putting energy into it. Possibly still blocking communication as an outcome. Maybe watching from afar. Ace of Swords. Wanting to talk, not talking. Two of Cups. Maybe in connection with a new person, possibly. Could be a renewal of an old one. I don't know. Hermit reversed. No, you're ready for... How can you be ready for a new connection when you're self-isolating? Some of you might end up dwelling on this connection a little bit too much. Why is death here for the other person? 
You're supposed to be healing. Shadow side. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Four of Swords reversed. Wow. Still being tied to this person. Allowing whatever change is going to come, but still feeling tied to you. Page of Cups reversed. Continuing to be restless. Why wasn't I good enough? Not saying anything. Possibly watching from afar. So y'all gonna watch each other from afar and not freaking do anything about it? Really? I never thought I'd ever say this. Y'all need to shit a good off pot. Do you want to start over or not? This is this feels so crossroads to me right now. Do you or don't you? Do you or don't you? Real simple. This is probably the wishy-washiest crap I've ever seen out of cancer. I don't know what's up with this. If you want your singularity and your independence, that's fine. Stop waiting around for things to equal out. Because you're already matching each other's energy and neither one of you is talking. Three of Wands reversed, Seven of Pentacles reversed, Three of Pentacles. Stop waiting around and do it. Reach out. What's the worst that's going to happen? You're going to get rejected? Okay. <laughs> I, you might want to wait until the healing process is over with, but if you want to expedite a healing process, don't let yourself stay in the dark. Let things be illuminated. If you feel unfinished business... Okay. The only way to put a cycle to a close sometimes is just to, you know, find out. Just throwing that out there. Never thought I'd ever say that, but it's what I'm feeling compelled to say right now. What's the worst that's going to happen? You manifest happiness by taking action. Notice they were both upside down in the reading. There's potential here. Before you act, find your inner peace first. Hmm. Weird. Weird cancer, weird. I don't know what to say to that. All right. Sorry, guys. I hate to be blunt as a spoon, but... Nothing sets me off more like, yo, I want to, but nobody's doing anything about it. Mm. I'm a person of action. I am. I have a very hard time keeping my mouth shut. Maybe that's why I'm 40 and single. I don't know. Know that you're loved, guys. Be blessed. Catch you in your next read. And on a side note, those that can't do teach. Love ya.